Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on tonight's episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off. Now, for those of you who may have missed the last episode, we did quite a bit of building. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We didn't do this on the last one. Uh, I went ahead and built this in between the last episode and this one. You can see over there in the background, this is my first tech because I never named it. And this one over here is, uh, you know, quite a larger tech in... Uh, in just size and what it has to offer. Now, I'm going to go through a little bit, but we're going to go into the action fairly quickly here and show what this bot can do. Now, I have not tested them out in actual battle, so it's going to be kind of interesting. Now, in the front, I went ahead and tried to do something I've never really done all that much, which is the melee aspect of the game. You got the, the drills and things of that sort. I'm going to kind of ram into them and see how well, uh, if any, the damage I can do because my, my shield bubble, my recharge bubble, I should say, the one that actually repairs my bot as you can see is quite large it is the geocore repair bubble so that's what it's made for it's made for huge bots and this one's about medium size when it comes to the geocore size that you can get it's not the full effect it's definitely not the full size that you're capable of doing but it's not too shabby either it's actually you know right down the middle i think then I got weapons here on the bottom, just in case it fails. Uh, not just the ones that shoot forward, but you can see right here underneath, I got some Uzis over there, and they all do fire. I tested them to make sure that they were able to fire through these drills, and they are. In fact, uh, I'll shoot right here. You can see they will fire through them. They're kind of hard to see because they don't light up. They're just Uzis, uh, whereas the Venture Hailfire rifles, they definitely do light up. And I put two of them. You know, I got two right there on the corner piece and then another two up here in the front. And so hopefully if these fail... Uh, they are able to, to kind of pick up the slack, and they're all around the thing. Uzi's on the side, Uzi's up here. And I didn't go overboard, and I didn't put big cannons on the front, mainly for the fact that I was seeing the big cannons are amazing to use, and I absolutely love using them. However, they do blow everything up, and you don't get very much in return for doing that. So I thought maybe... Uh, you know, not use them as much as I was using them. I do have placement for them if it turns into the situation where I need to. Right here in the, the bottom left-hand corner, you can see right here on this block, there's a little bit of space right there that I can put the stuff. The same thing on the other end. And the Geocore, or not the Geocore, but the big boy cannons, they can fire over these uh, hail fire rifles. So that's kind of cool. I also put the lights on here. And as I was going through, I was like, you know what? Lights are cool, and I haven't really got to mess around with them. So there are a ton, if I go into build mode, you can see there's a ton of them down here. Actually, no, there's not as many as there used to be. This entire thing used to be lined with lights. Right here where the inside of the wheels are, you can see uh, one right there. That used to be lined with lights on all sides until it got nighttime. And the entire bottom of this bot lit up like the, I don't know, the surface of the sun. It was so blinding that when I went underneath here to kind of remove some of the lights, I couldn't even see anything. So yeah, these little small lights that I didn't think were even that great, the storm lanterns, are amazing when you have like a gazillion of them. So I had to take them out little by little until I got the, I guess I won't even say the right amount of lighting because it's still blinding here with just the few that you can see. Uh, it is massively blinding. Now I did throw some other stuff down here that's kind of hidden, such as the boosters. I wanted uh, quite a few boosters on here just in case you get stuck. It's not something I really got to mess around with. Unfortunately, the only boosters we have are these GSO boosters. I would love to find the Venture ones or even the um, Geocore. Those are amazing ones to get. So... Yeah, we're, we're going to be on the lookout for those. I also did throw some of these hover pads in here just to kind of offset the weight down the middle because, as you can see, there's not as many wheels on here as I possibly could have had. And I did that on purpose. I was trying to see how much we could get away with as far as weight goes without as many wheels as we normally go. The wheels that we have are just usually massive and in proportion, and uh, I kind of wanted to see if maybe we can go with a more, uh, you know, look to it more, kind of, uh, I don't know, just... Uh, some kind of animal or something down the road without having to sacrifice weight distribution if we have these hover pads. So this is my test on that idea if it works or not. The whole inside, as you can see, are just batteries. These are the Geocore batteries, so hopefully we won't have to run low on that anytime soon. As far as like seeing what power they are, I did leave a little bit of room right there in the front, as you can see over here, to show me the little strip on what the power gauge is at. The boosters, they use fuel, so I went ahead and put all the fuel tanks that I could on here. Oh, great. Am I stuck? I need to move forward a little bit, I think. Uh, oh, I'm going to build my... Okay, let's move forward, because you have to be able to click on the screen, and if you got something like a base piece that keeps putting up that little message, you know, idle, whatever, uh, you can't really drag and drop uh, like you can normally, so... But yeah, for the fuel tanks, I went ahead and put as many of them as I could. I only had one of these GSO Big Papa fuels 
uh, tanks and I didn't have any money to buy any more as you can see I spent all the money that I had so I do need to go out and kind of collect a little bit more I do have these other fuel tanks here and then as, as well as one venture a large fuel tank here in the center that we're going to be using and hopefully that gives me enough that we can kind of mess around with that stuff as you can see now it's becoming nighttime and the lights are coming on I do wish that you could turn the shield bubbles off or make them more transparent um, translucent I guess is what they are right now but I would like to kind of just phase them out a little bit maybe even do that naturally if they don't take any damage for a little while they're not healing up for a little while make them fade lighter and lighter and lighter maybe even do something along those the lines of like star wars where they only show up when they take impact maybe that's an option you could turn on in the settings or something along those lines because you don't really get to experience the full-fledged beautiful you know awe-inspiring view of the lights at night when you have this many shield bubbles and things of that sort you know even the big one even just one big one kind of takes away from what it would look like without any of those activated now we will get to see that i'm sure at some point when our batteries fail and uh, you know that happens when we're out there quite a bit so yeah somewhere along the way we're going to see that let me come back here let them get charged up one more time before we head out make sure we're topped out now you can see over here in the back i do have the uh, big boy cannons that's for emergencies uh, mainly the backside of your bot is usually your weak spot on this i want to make sure the uh, the back side of my bot is the strongest am i stuck on something Ooh, am i stuck on the what am i stuck on here let me back up a little bit I'm trying to figure out now this is like i said a brand new bot oh you know what i think they're stuck right here so maybe what i might need to do is go into build settings i'm gonna have to put this thing down here so i can grab some stuff out of it so let's do this let's put this down i do apologize guys i did kind of roam it around a little bit and i didn't get stuck so you know of course this has to happen uh no where does that wheel go where does that wheel go huh where did that wheel come from oh it came from the back right there all right let's so let's put that back in there if we can't no all right we're gonna have to get a new one definitely wants to be difficult on us so let's go ahead and put one right here and uh, we're going to see if we can put a wheel down over here, but not the big ones. One of these small ones, if we can, if it will fit the way we want it to. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it wants to. Right there. There. Uh, no, that didn't fit. There we go. All right. So not a lot of support. But then again, we don't really need a lot of support. We just kind of need it to get over this little hurdle right here. And hopefully the other wheels will handle that. This is one of the like things you have to worry about when you build a new bot. The trial and error of getting it to work. Whether you've missed some key little feature that just kind of trips you up for a minute and then everything goes pretty much smoothly afterwards. Um, no, here in the back too. Dang it. Really? You guys are going to give me a hard time about these little tiny wheels. Now you can see here in the back, I did go ahead and throw one of those uh, receivers back here, the GSO large receivers. And the reason behind that is I used to have two of them here. And I had them there so that we could actually pick stuff up um, in the back and hold it until we needed it. And I had two because I thought, you know, that would be kind of interesting to be able to hold a whole bunch of stuff and then drop it whenever you needed to right there next to the... Um, can I get that in there? No, it doesn't seem to want to go in there just right. So I may have to throw something like this right there and see if it will fit there now. It may not, actually. Let me let me get rid of this wheel. That was a bad choice. Needs need something flat, like a gun. There we go. Now I can throw that one on there. And then I can uh, leave the gun, I guess. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal to... It's facing the wrong way. I might as well take it off. I'll fix that later. I'll put some weapons in there let that pick that up yeah two of them was uh, kind of a mistake because when you have those things semi-loaded not even fully loaded but semi-loaded yeah there we go that's working a little bit better at least until we can get over this uh, little hurdle right here over these little hills and it's gonna get a little laggy here mainly because of the lights the lights seem to be lagging it out quite a bit and the rest of the wheels aren't even touching why is that it's just the wheels in the center huh Actually, it's just the wheels right here in the the center part of it. You think they're too high or too low? They might be too low. Let me let me go into build mode here really quick, guys, and let me see if I put them just a tad bit higher, if this would uh, work a little bit better here in the, the center, because I want the other wheels to touch more than these. 
yeah, that, that seems to be okay. It may get stuck a little bit easier. Yeah, I think that's actually a better deal. So let's go ahead and put those back on there. Otherwise, all the weight is on the back two wheels, and that's just a little ridiculous. So that one doesn't fit in there just right, but we'll see how it works. I may have to move that around so it's going to be center. What is it, stuck on something? Oh, it's stuck on a little. All right, we'll shoot that. We'll destroy that. There we go. Yeah, with two of them, as far as the receiver goes, didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to, so I had to remove that. What am I stuck on now? Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. What in the world? Where is it stuck? Right here on this little ledge. So maybe I might have to do what I had previous. Dang it. Let's hope and not have to do that. All right. Well, we'll keep it like that for now until I can find some subtle way of, of fixing that. Maybe throwing on some of those small little wheels. That might work out a little bit better down here. The the ones that are the hub wheels might be a unique way of, uh, I don't know. Or just moving these wheels down a little bit more might might help as well. I was trying not to have it so far up because I want this thing to be able to chop through bots and not just the, the majorly large ones. I want it to be able to go through some of the smaller ones as well. And you can see it's already up pretty high off the ground. So if I went up even higher, these things would have almost no chance whatsoever of hitting the bots that I want them to hit. Only really the bigger ones. And, you know, we're going to find those two down the road. So I guess we'll just have to keep an eye out for it. Wow, this is really, really laggy at night. I'm hoping this kind of clears up here in the future. As we get far enough away from our base, there might be something left. Now, I did notice that we got a few pieces without me even noticing, such as the uh, the Venture, or not the Venture, the uh, Step Conveyor for, not the Step Conveyor, the Down Conveyor, I should say, for our base functions. That's going to be something we're going to be looking into. I guess he decided that the back of my bot was uh, safer in some weird way. But Big Tony, you made the wrong choice on that one, dude. There is nothing safe about the back of that bot. All right, let's come over here and take a look at what they got. Anything of value? Nothing I can really see here that we would want. But it's not flashing over here with new items. It's flashing over there. Let's go ahead and hit our boosters. Uh, you know, it's, it's not as much of a boost as I thought it would be, but it's not shabby either. So let's see. We got Beer Man over here. Or is it Bear Man? It's kind of moving too fast for me to see it. We got a hammer over there. Let's go ahead and shoot. You can see that my Venture Hailfire rifles are firing in every direction where the enemy is. So I don't necessarily even have to be facing him anymore. My Venture Hailfire rifles are amazing for that kind of purpose. Now, I am destroying pretty much all of their bots. I think they're just way too small. You know, when you get to this size, there's not a whole lot you can do to, I guess, save these smaller bots other than to go smaller yourself so we may have to do that as well create a few small bots go out there see what we can find and hopefully we can find some pretty cool stuff make it worth it uh, are they hitting it I think they are yeah there they go oh baby look at that the big big cannons what did it drop there at least it's nice and safe whatever it is right here let's see can I zoom in a little bit I don't know what that is actually let me see what is that? Uh, what is this? A no string for... It's an error of some sort. Oh, you know what this is? This looks like the down version of the conveyor. I think that's what it looks like when you actually have it. Maybe. I don't know. That, that's a weird looking object. I've never seen that one before. So we'll have to kind of play around with that. We did get a new object out of it. I guess not from actually, you know, from the bots themselves, but from killing the bots for like a reward for doing that we get something we've never seen before and are you kidding me i can't get up this hill wow that is uh that is a bit nuts i didn't think that was going to be a, an issue with this size of this bot mainly for the fact that none of the wheels are touching except for the ones in the center i think that's the uh, the biggest issue that i have so far is just the center of the bot how do i fix that other than to put the big wheels there i guess i do just have to put big wheels in the exact same spot but will it fit i don't think it will i think i'll actually have to remove some of the pieces uh, some of the weapons i have there in the center no i don't want that there let's drop that there uh we'll keep going well we'll mess around with that in between this one and the next one i think i will have to put the big wheels down there i was hoping not to do that might find some other way some some what it would be and having too much issue now we're gonna do that right now we're gonna put the big wheels down guys get that settled 
because it should not be having this many issues already. All right, let's get these small wheels out of the way. Drop you guys over here. Might be able to pick up a few other pieces while we're here as well. This guy, this guy is going to have to move. Let's put him here for now, and we'll work out somewhere to put him in the back as well. All right. One right there. Oh, you, you know what? It might not might not work dang it I'm gonna have to put it up even higher and I don't know if I can do that with this all right let's put one here and one here and we'll use the big wheel and see will it let us put it up there no it won't and is it because of the wall is getting in the way or is it because one of these things is getting in the way hmm I bet it's because of this brick right here at the top is what's getting in the way, not, uh, can I put it, oh, you know what, I might be able to put it in the inside, it's not going to be perfect, but if it works, I'll be happy, no, it does not want to work, because of the stuff in there, yep, I'm going to have to remove this stuff, okay, let's, let's move this over to the side, we'll get rid of these boosters for now, and we'll try the wheel now, come on, put the wheel back on. Yep, that works. All right, so we're going to have to do the same thing on the other side. We'll get rid of this. If I can put that... Yeah, I can put that over there. Man, we'll get rid of these two things. Right there, and we'll put the wheel down. I'm going to have to do something crazy in the front, I think, to get this to work. Come on, there we go. All right. Do I want to keep those small wheels there? I mean, it wouldn't really hurt, but it's not going to help either, so let's get rid of those. And then I guess we'll just put these things right here. One right. Oh, no. You know what? I'll just put it back in the corner. All right. Oh, not quite. Sorry, guys. Um, all right. All right. We're doing it. We're getting there. Finally. Okay. I think that's even better. Right? You know, I was just I'm pulling myself into play. It's better because my original idea did not work. Mm hmm. Yeah. These weapons are a goner. Um. All of them, I think, actually. Let's drop these over here. Get rid of the ones in the center. If I got any space, I'll put them back on, but I don't think I will. Hmm. What is in there that's in the way? Is it the pad? I think it might be the pad. So we'll get rid of the pad for now. We'll move it. We'll move it right there. We'll find another spot for it here in a second if we can. All right, so that's going to work. I need to put a wheel right there and a wheel on this side and we'll see if it will let us put it above it which is where we need it come on you know you want to be put in there nope it does not want to work that way so that's come on I'm clicking off of you there we go a little ridiculous there we go can we get it in there the way I want it it's not what I want why won't it go in? What is it What is it saying it's hitting? I wish it would show red or something along those lines of what it's supposedly hitting when it tries to do something and it won't quite fit in there. Because that should work. I mean, it does kind of show you what blocks are there, but it doesn't give you a direct idea. When you have a bot this big, it can really get very difficult to see in there. Especially when it's this bright out there. Um, hmm... Yeah, that's not going to work right there. Hmm. I need something a little bit smaller then. Let's go with this. Uh, that's facing the wrong way. That one's facing the wrong way too. But when I take these little small wheels off, will you work right? Maybe? I guess that, that seems okay. Um, these, that one's facing the right way. This one definitely is not the one that's already on, on the left-hand side. Nope, I'm going to have to change the direction of that manually since it won't do, there we go. All right, that, that might actually work. Now to pick up all the pieces that we, uh, we got rid of here. Wow, there's a lot of junk over here. Let me drag some of this stuff over here. Guys, I do apologize. I wish that this was already done when we... We started. I should have taken it out, but I kind of wanted you guys to go with the Maiden Voyage and see how well that worked. Again, I think these wheels might be a little too far down. It seems like, yeah, like the other wheels aren't quite touching because of it. 
So we may have to do something a little bit more involved with these wheels down the road, but that should be enough for now. The back wheels are definitely lined up the way I want them to be, and so it's not going to be doing too big of a deal, I think. Oh, you know what? We forgot this one. All right, we'll take that off. We'll put that there on the back for now. All right, nighttime yet again. We just we just got done waiting for nighttime to be over, and now it's... Uh, oh, man, I was so proud of this thing. I was like, oh, it's going to be a beast. It's going to be a beast. It's going to be able to go around really well and uh, be able to do what I want it to do. Really, the only way I can see to fix this is to put the wheels on the outside down further. And again, I, I didn't really want that height. I wanted it to, to be as close to the ground as possible. But I think that would fix all of our issues. So I'll probably end up doing that somewhere in uh, in between this one and the next one. But I don't know. I think everything else is pretty much solid in the construction. There's armor plating on it. There's plenty of room for growth. So we have room to pick stuff up if we need to. And whatever this is out here is massive. This looks pretty cool. It looks like another base maybe. Yeah, that definitely looks like another base. Let me see if I can take this intact, if I can. Let's see if we can destroy this guy. Uh, you know what? I mean, you know, he's kind of hard to uh, target. There you go. You can see all the weapons. They just kind of relaxed right there for a second. They're like, okay, we can stop firing. Yeah, he's just a little outside my range. He knows what my range is, and he stays right there. There he goes. You are dead, my friend. You're about to blow. Oh, yes. That's beauty. All right, let's get a little closer. What is this thing? This is just a ball of repair bubbles. Repair bubbles, batteries, and that's it. I mean, there's there's a thing in there to sell, but you don't have any conveyor belts to it. This is just a honey trove of resources. So why we got the ability, let's kind of ram into this thing and see how well this... Uh... Oh, are you telling me it's too, too big? Or Yeah, it's too tall. All right, I don't think that thing's going to... Is it really working? Is it really doing anything? I don't think it is. Come on. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. Actually, it was getting repaired. It was getting repaired by me. Otherwise, it would have blown up a lot sooner than that. Holy crap. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, let's let's go ahead and pick that up. Can never do with enough of those things, but... I don't know how well this melee thing is gonna work with this shield the size it is. I may have to go in there and remove that and just go with smaller shields, but... It's so much more efficient, I think, to go with the bigger one. It doesn't cover my entire bot either. Now that I've gone a little bit further back, I could definitely maybe move it back two or three squares so the back is covered completely, but the front isn't. I just don't know how you repair these things since so they're going to be taking the brunt of the damage anyways when you do melee. So that's kind of a tricky thing to do. Maybe down the road, if they uh, you know feel it's in the, the best interest or uh, idea that they want to go down, they could make it where you could have a skin covered, you know, shield. So it only kind of went over your bot and not any further. But it was really powerful as far as how much power it takes, and uh, you know, doesn't uh, doesn't block everything. You know, like it lets things through. So you get a little bit of uh, protection in a very small confined area. But there's some downsides to it. I like games that do that. Give you a, you know something good, but then give you a negative too. Otherwise, you just get too much of of a good thing, and uh, it's kind of unfair. What else did we get here? Oh, we got some new wheels. I think those are the, uh, yeah, those are like the ones you put on your airplane right there. It's a double set of wheels. Something else we haven't really seen before. Yeah, so that's cool. I did manage to go ahead and put a little bit of every bot on here. So I got some Geocore, obviously. I got some GSOs, and I got a few Venture. Not a whole lot, but a few so we can be working on those missions as we go through it. Now, of course, I think primarily... Oh, no, it's stuck underneath me. And there's an invader coming. There's an invader. All right, so let's back it up a second and uh, wait for this invader to get here. I'm actually kind of curious to see what is going to be coming in. You do normally see the same bombs come in if you're not on Twitter. If you connect your bot to Twitter, or your account, I should say, your game to Twitter, then you're going to be able to see a lot more stuff than you normally do just because you're going to be having access to the player based Twitter things uh, the, the bots that they've created themselves and it's really cool when you can do that oh my god look at that guy I don't have my big boy cannons in the front and it looks like oh he does he does have some big boy cannons there in the front so yeah we're going to be backing this up a little just a little oh man he is right on my butt he is definitely coming after me oh man I need to be attacking this thing from behind we have a lot more weapons back there. 
Not as protected, though. Doesn't have the repair bubbles that it should back there. Holy crap. Look, it's still taking the, the time to repair after all that. So, yeah, we did take some massive damage back there. All right, let's 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 go ahead and face this butt forwards. Uh, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, dang it. All right. Wow, it's still repairing. That is nuts. All right, here we go. Nope, not quite. A little bit more. Oh, a little bit more. Can we get up there? There we go. It's kind of hitting him now. He's, he's backing it up. I'm not... Wow, is it still repairing or is that just a glitch? I think that might be a glitch. All right, big boy cannons did get a few shots in there. And he's chasing me. It's just the way I want it right now. Oh, man, look at that. I'm taking some massive damage. Oh, and it finally got done repairing. No, it was taking some massive damage in there. Oh, jeez. How much freaking repairs do you got? You got a lot of power in there, dude. All right, we'll sit over here. Wait for you. Not too close, not too close. Oh, yeah, you can see the big boy cannons get some hits. Get some massive hits, actually. Oh, come on. Get in there. Something just blew up on my bot, I think. I think we lost something there. Mm, let me look back there. Mm, we lost an Uzi? We lost an Uzi or he did. I don't know where that Uzi would have come from, though. All right, let's back it up. Come on, dude. Oh, jeez. Come on, you can back it up. I know you can. I, know, oh, I got faith. I got faith. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I don't got faith in this guy. Maybe he needs to build up speed. That's one of the things you worry about with these big guys is sometimes it's just a matter of building up the speed you need. There we go. Come on, hit him with the big guns. Hit him with the big guns. I can see it when you hit him. There we go, a little closer. A little closer. Oh, he has big guns right there on the back of his bot too. So he's going to be hitting us, and he is. Yeah, he's firing at us right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this one. Why did you turn the camera, dude? All the action's back there. Come on, come on. Knock some of his wheels off. Knock something off. This guy is freaking massive, dude. I want this. I want this guy destroyed. Oh, look at all the damage he's doing over there in the distance. I'm having to fight the momentum of the guns pushing me forward constantly. So I'm having to hit the back button little bit by little bit, trying not to go too forward. Oh, he's stuck too. I don't feel so bad anymore. If everybody gets stuck like I do, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of okay with it. Dude, dude, let your shields go already, man. Let me get some, let me get some loving in there. Oh man, he's he's hitting me a little bit. Let me back it up. Yeah, he was getting a direct beat on me. Look at that, guys. Oh man, what is that? Like one third of my bot right there taking damage. All right, let's do it. Let's get over here. And he still has energy. He still has energy. This guy is way way too big. Yeah, I think we might have to go with big boy cannons, man. Just on our entire bot if we're gonna be taking on guys like this, you know, any more than we already are. Uh, he's shooting over my head. But just barely. No, he's getting a couple hits on me. All right, let's let's back it up. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We did a little bit of damage to him. Let me see. What is my battery pack at, actually? Need to make sure it's not too low. Uh, I can't really see it. I didn't leave a spot for it, huh? Right there at the top. Okay, yeah, I did. So we're about uh, two-thirds down, almost three. Or, I mean, two-fifths, I should say. Uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, did we lose a weapon over here? We might have. Might have lost a weapon. Yeah, right there on the front. Right there on the front is a, a weapon that's missing for the uh, the ventures. Let's see. Oh, he's already hitting me. You suck, dude. Jeez, your range is massive. My range is not that big. I guess because of the height. He has the height to shoot those weapons. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I love it. You can see the big boy cannon shoot from way over here. Not quite reaching him, though. I don't see any impact on his bot. So we're going to have to get a little closer we have any hope of destroying this guy now his his shields will fade naturally on their own so i can always wait until you know they fade and i can move in for the kill but i kind of don't want to do that so i guess what we're going to do is we're going to strafe the side oh he's shooting my fuel tanks we might get some explosions here come on move it baby come on go 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 no no oh man look at that oh geez so much damage so much damage. What did we lose? Did we lose anything? I don't think we did. I don't think we did, but look how much... Oh, man. Yeah, my, my base took a lot of hits. No, we lost a few pieces. We lost a few of the, uh, the Venture Hailfire rifles. He has to be losing something. With all the damage we're doing to him, he has to be taking some damage in there. 
Oh, man. I am going to have to bite the bullet and just put some of the big guns on the front because this is way too big of a bot. So let's go ahead and do that real quick, guys. And I'll put down a couple of uh, solar reactors to start charging me up as well just to uh, let this guy have a little bit of time to recover from all the damage it's taking. You can see that it, it may be a bigger recharge bubble for repair, but not necessarily better. It just seems like it's taking a lot longer to do what it needs to. So let's see, big boy guns, um, maybe I passed them. Let's see, where are they at? Well, let's go ahead and put a few of these things down. Actually, we're gonna need to go with a more than just a few wireless chargers. Uh, that's not it. There we go, wireless chargers. Go ahead and throw a whole bunch on there. And again, why we're doing this, his shields are draining. He is repairing his damage. He's, uh, you know, using his shield bubbles and things of that sort, so that's going to help us out. Now let's go with the big boy guns here. Where are you at? I could ram them, but I don't think that I don't think we would survive it. Where is my... There they are, 47 of them. So I have 47 of these big boy guns. Let's put one here, one there, one there... And, uh, I guess we lost the Uzis on that side, so let's lose the Uzis over here. Let's toss them over there. Maybe they'll get picked up. Yeah, it seems like they are. All right, let's put some big boys there. Let's put a big boy there and a big boy over here. Mm, that should work fairly well. I could put some up here on the front. Oh, geez, this is going way... Way more than I thought we'd go with. Mm. Do I want to put some over here on the side? I guess we should, but I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one for now. I think I think we're fine with what we got. Let me see. I need a repair bubble back here. Shield repair. Okay. So repair bubble is going to go into this little nook. Yeah, see, look at that. It definitely needed some of that loving. And over here on this end, we'll go with that. Ah, oh, there's another one over there. Huh. Oh, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Yep, it's uh, it's definitely coming over here for us. So let me go ahead and close this up. Let's move this. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, guys. He's coming in for the kill. Whether he's going to get it or not. Oh, my God. Heavily Fortify AI from the Payload Terminal Studio. They definitely created a monster right there. Let's go ahead and pick up what they got. Geocore Brew Girder. Ooh, yeah, the two, the two ones. I don't have any of those. That's nice. Okay, we got a new piece. That was that makes it worth it. Holy crap, there's a lot of really good stuff down here. Stuff that I would have uh, liked to have had earlier when I could have messed around with it a little bit more. Let's see, what do we got back here? I need to move this piece around, don't I? So it's a little bit more in there. Because I know somebody's watching, like, fix it, please, please. <laughs> I don't want you guys to go crazy on me. Um, let's go ahead and put this over here. We got some new armor pieces, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I had any of these either, these four-stack ones, now that I'm looking at those. Because I have been trying to put armor pieces on my bot. And, yeah, we were a little low on those. We didn't have too many of these big pieces either, so that's going to be cool to play around with. We got some more big guns, so definitely useful there. Uh, what else is it showing us? GSO large armor plate. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't think we had any of those, so we got to access something new. That's getting pulled in as well. Let's go ahead and snag this over here. This is a spotlight because I'm pretty sure we didn't have any spotlights for the uh, GSO large armor plate. Yeah, we got that one. Let's move up a little bit. Come on, come on. Let's grab this. Get a little closer. Yeah, that is a large light, so that's something new too that we can throw on there. Let's uh, let's snag this thing. I don't know where we're going to put it. Let's put it right here for now. Wow, look how freaking huge that is. All right, let's kill this guy off. We'll collect his stuff, and then we'll go ahead and end the episode here, guys. And in between, like I said, I am going to move those wheels around <clears throat> so they can move, you know, just a little bit better than they do right now. And there's some more stuff around here that I want to pick up. I don't think there's anything new here i don't see any little lights kind of shining up for us but uh yeah definitely some stuff to uh, kind of acquire and, and to fix i need those wheels those wheels just uh yeah they're not working for me the way they're kind of set up right now 
Again, guys, I do want to thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy this episode, uh, definitely leave, leave those comments down below. I am loving what you guys are saying right now on all the stuff that you guys have been keeping me updated on, on the updates as far as uh, things that you found in the game that you want to see more of and uh, things of that sort, guys. So definitely hit me up on the, uh, the comment section. I am watching. I am reading every single one of them. And one of you guys let me know that you want me to be a little bit more... Um, adventurous with the titles you, you want something that isn't uh, as safe as you know just kind of uh, straight up what the episode is actually about uh, i could definitely do that youtube does have you know uh, restrictions on what the titles need to be as far as them actually being about the episode in some way but yeah i could be a little bit more adventurous with it if you guys have a good idea for an episode title you watch the episode and you're like you know it'd be funny to call it this it'd be interesting uh you know you hit me up and i can always go back and change it for everybody else so uh, definitely taking suggestions on that i've been doing so many of these episodes it's kind of hard to come up with unique you know names for each and every one of them um, after this long, but you know, I, I do definitely give it a shot again guys as I said before I'm AC gamer, and I will definitely catch you all next time Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC gamer We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future But here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting of course You're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments again If you do enjoy these videos be sure to hit that like button subscribe It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually but for now these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching guys and we will definitely catch you all next time.